Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a reading for Gemini and keep in mind that this does not resonate for all of you. If you'd like a personal reading, I'll leave that description down below. Another thing you do is we have memberships on the channel, so you go ahead and join, become a member, get access to all those perks, okay? So let's see. What was Gemini meant to do here? Mm -hmm. Look at you. On the bottom of the deck for the overall energy, we have the Queen of Cups. Now, that is water energy, but that's also a very emotional kind of caring energy here as well. Let's see. We have the Five of Cups. Judgment. Ten of Cups. Six of Swords. We have the Empress. Queen of Wands, this is fire energy. Five of Pentacles. The Ten of Swords. So, Gemini, what I feel for you is, um... You're going to go through an awakening here. It's like when you go through a lot in life, that's when you start to go through this awakening. So it's like kind of when you hit... I don't want to say it, but kind of like when you hit rock bottom. You go through a lot, you go through this, this kind of struggle, and it does cause a bit of a your spiritual awakening here, and I see you like shifting out of that struggle and moving that into a more positive, kind of happier energy. And what I feel like, it, the reasoning of this, this may be kind of like, well, why am I going through that? Well, the reasoning of this is so that you can help other people when they're going through that get out of that energy as well. So like when they're going through struggles here, um, some of you this is to do with a loss, like you lost something or someone, but anyways, um, when other people go through this, you can help them get out of that state and move into a happier, more positive energy. So let's see. We have Star Brothers, Protection, Loyalty, Safety, Trust, so this can be like your actual brother or sibling here, but this is, what this talks about, I gotta sneeze, hold on. Anyways, what this talks about is, um, so you have a sibling, a brother, some close family member that you're meant to live many lifetimes with, like you have lived lifetimes with them previously, and you're just gonna keep, you know, each lifetime you live, they're just gonna be there. And then we have wait. It's not time yet. Things are being woven. Okay, so it's telling you to wait. Like you're, I feel like a lot of you are still going through this awakening process. So it's not time to um, do your sole purpose yet of helping people shift out of that energy. You know, bringing change to their life, positive change. So because you're still going through that awakening process. this card means real quick because I um, don't know the meanings to these cards quite yet. So we have the Maiden in the Underworld, yes. So you kind of go through this, like I said, this period of a lot of things going on in your life, and then you come out of that, and I see that when you go out of this, this, um, 
struggle phase. I'll just put it that way. I don't want to, because that's not what I'm trying to focus on. It's like you, it causes like your heart to be very kind. Like you start helping people. You start like feeling this more compassionate energy within yourself. You have a connection to the spirit world that you're about to step into. You're about to see spirits. You're about to step into that world. Number 61, Turkey Spirit, give with grace and uh, gra gratitude. Yeah. Yeah, look at you. Look at you. Number 22, the Holy Child, Star Seed. I am a divine child of the universe. This is you. If you don't know what a star seed is, you can go ahead and look that up. If I were to explain that, that would make this video a lot longer. <laughs> and I'm just trying to do something like 10 minutes or so. So that's you. You have a gift here. Very intuitive kind of psychic gift. And you're a star seed as well. We have number 28, the Seven Sisters Circle. Sisterhood enriches my life. So once again, we're talking about people that you have a soul connection to, possibly a sister or a brother. Number 37, the Priestess in Body. I am embodiment of the Divine Feminine. Yeah, Priestess or Priest. Number 43, Father of the Sky, God. I release the weight of the world from my shoulders. Gemini, you have a very powerful energy within you, a very powerful, strong soul. And I see that when you awaken your gifts here, your abilities, like you go through the spiritual awakening, you are going to be someone that, you know, you just know things. You can predict things or whatever. Like you, You're going to start receiving, you know, messages intuitively that sort of thing. <laughs> I'm so sorry. My, my dog just farted. <laughs> well, while I'm on camera. In number seven, what must be shall be. The dog is so embarrassing sometimes. Um, yeah, Gemini. So things that happen or about to happen, they're meant to happen. It's not something that's, you know, wrong or, you know, even the bad is supposed to happen. It's meant to push you in a direction, even, the, you know, the good, the bad, everything. Thirty-five, the book of changes. Yeah, a lot of changes are going to be coming into your life, and as a result of that, because you've gone through such dramatic changes here, you're going to help people change their life. Okay, so let's see. I forgot to get these cards. Let me get these cards real quick for you. This is the wrong deck. I'm sorry, I'm such a mess. Number 39, back on task. Be sure you're using your time in the best possible manner. You might consider reviewing your goals, your schedule, or a project you're working on. All could use some fine tuning. Yeah. Okay. So, Gemini, that is all I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.